Have you ever been asked by somebody, if you could have any superpower, what would you choose? Well, for me, the answer to that question is simple. It's the ability to read minds. Because honestly, I can't think of a power any more advantageous than the ability to know exactly what someone else is thinking as they're thinking it. And in this very video, I'm gonna help you acquire this superpower temporarily and use it to uncover what's going on right now inside your ex's brain. Now, obviously, sadly, I can't guarantee 100% accuracy when it comes to, to what your ex is thinking, but I have been a breakup coach for over 12 years now, and, and working directly with thousands of clients going through a breakup, and you know, watching all the, the various common situations that those clients have faced and how they turned out, uh, all of this experience has given me the ability to learn and understand you know, the typical emotions, actions, and phases that people go through after breaking up. So if you do watch this video all the way to the end, uh, you may not know exactly what your ex is thinking, but you definitely will have a much better idea of what's likely going on in their head right now and what they're feeling towards you and about the breakup in general. You have questions, I have the answers. Oh, and I am Breakup Brad, by the way. Um, you probably already knew that. Uh, and you probably also know that I'm the number one most trusted breakup expert on YouTube. Uh, so let's get into this, shall we? Now, I need to begin this video with a bit of a disclaimer here because the reality is that there can be a number of things that can have a significant impact on my answer to the question, is my ex thinking about me? In particular, there's, there's really three factors that we need to cover briefly here. Now, the first one is the depth and the intensity of your relationship with this ex. I mean, when you're 13 years old and you're dating somebody for the first time, you know, things might feel pretty serious. I mean, you know, holding hands is a big deal, right? Don't make me take you to church, young man. But you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, casually dating on and off for a, for a month or so, that barely falls into the, the real relationship category. And really the same goes for any sort of a virtual relationship where you and your ex only met, you know, face to face once or twice. But on the other hand, you know, if you've lived together with your ex, if you've spent years spending almost every day with one another, maybe you even had children together, then that is obviously a completely different story. Simply put, you know, the longer you and your ex were together as a couple and the, the deeper and more committed that your relationship was, uh, the more impact breaking up is gonna have on both parties. I mean, obviously this is not you know, exactly rocket science, but you do need to be able to, to realistically evaluate your own relationship and determine you know, sort of where it fits on the, the seriousness meter because that is going to impact what is going on in your ex's head right now. And if you haven't taken the free quiz on my website yet, uh, you should give it a try. The URL is breakupbrad.com slash quiz. And I've designed a number of the quiz questions to, to determine the, the true depth and intensity of the relationship with your ex. And really, as long as you're, you're honest answering those questions, then the quiz is actually gonna be a better judge of, of that kind of thing than you are right now uh, yourself. So again, if you wanna take that quiz, it's available at breakupbrad.com slash quiz. And your results are, are gonna tell you a lot about where you're currently at with your ex. So go give it a try after this video. Secondly, another factor is time, and more specifically, how long it's actually been since the breakup. So, you know, if your breakup with this ex was more than two years ago, then you can probably safely assume that your ex is not thinking about you right now. I'm seeing some forgetting, possibly. If the relationship was, was serious and long-term, uh, then even, you know, after two years, it's likely that thoughts of you are going to pop into your ex's mind every now and then. But on the other hand, you know, if you broke up with your ex within the last month or so, then that's a very different ballgame. And in most cases, you know, the first month will, will be just as much of a struggle for your ex as it is for you. And I can also guarantee that you're, you're on your ex's mind constantly during this time. For those of you who are in a really long-term, really serious relationship, um, then your ex is still gonna be thinking of you daily for months after breaking up. Find yourself a hobby. See guys, one of, the, one of the big mistakes that a lot of people make is to assume that the pain and heartache that they're feeling after the breakup are far worse than whatever their ex is going through at the same time. It just, it doesn't work like that for 99% of breakups. You know, regardless of whether you were dumped, uh, you know, out of the blue, uh, whether it was a mutual thing, or whether you're even the one initiating a breakup, it's always gonna be painful and difficult for both partners. You know, and just because your ex is the one who, who actually decided on the initial breakup, doesn't mean that they're not, you know, struggling even more than you are right now. In fact, you know, and a lot of people are skeptical about this, um, but I promise it's absolutely true. You can believe Cleo or you cannot believe Cleo. Sometimes the dumper, you know, or the person who wanted to break up and end things, actually has an even harder time uh, than their partner who was dumped and didn't have a say in the matter. And one of the reasons for that is because, you know, your ex or, or the, the person who decided to, to fall on the breakup in the first place uh, knows you'll likely say yes if they change their mind and decide, you know, actually, no, I don't want this. Let's get back together. And just simply knowing that you can take that easy road 
uh, and numb the heartache at any time, it makes it very, very difficult uh, to stick to your decision and to get through the worst of those post-breakup emotions. And if you have signed up for my X Factor program already, you'll know that this is one of the key techniques that I teach. You know, how to maximize your ex's internal struggles and their second thoughts to the point you know, where, they, where they indeed break down and they beg to have you back. And of, of course, this only works because both parties go through that same painful recovery process after breaking up. So don't delude yourself into thinking that you're the only one crying about this breakup because your ex is definitely suffering too. And if you guys do want to learn how you can take advantage of this situation and use it to get a second chance with your ex, then the best place to start is at breakupbrad.com where you can watch my full tutorial video and pick up a copy of my comprehensive X Factor program risk-free for 60 days. And finally, the third thing that will impact what's going on in your ex's head right now is what I call externalities. Now, usually this just refers to a rebound relationship or, or another person in your ex's life. And I'm seeing a new baby. And a rebound relationship, you know, if that's actually what it is, uh, doesn't stop your ex from feeling the, the post-breakup emotions and depression. All it really does is change when those emotions are felt. So, you know, in a traditional rebound, uh, the new person in your ex's life is going to be like a shiny object that, that distracts them temporarily from the heartache that you're enduring right now. But because most rebounds are, are based on you know, passion, physical attraction, and, and a desire to experience something new and different, uh, they don't usually last very long. And once that novelty of the new person you know, does wear off, and the passion and the excitement kind of fizzle out, then it's normal for your ex to, to at that point then realize that they're actually not compatible with this rebound person anyway, and that the, the relationship has no long-term future. Don't go, you hear me? Now for anyone who is watching this right now, uh, that's in just an you know, exact situation like what I just described, where you've been apart from your ex for, for a month or two now, and right after the initial breakup, your ex jumped right into a, to a rebound relationship that's now coming to an end or starting to fizzle out, well, you can safely assume that your ex is actually gonna be feeling even worse now uh, than they would have if this rebound had never happened at all in the first place. You know, by jumping into a new relationship right away, they've just essentially you know, just deferred the pain uh, and the heartache of, of the breakup uh, for a later time by distracting themselves with the rebound. But when that later time you know, finally does arrive, and the rebound ends, then your ex just has to face the music and, and it can often actually intensify the feelings of sadness and loneliness. The ex is much better than the present one, you know. Why is that the case? Well, I mean, for starters, you know, they've now essentially gone through two breakups, uh, even though the second one was a lot less significant. But more importantly, as I've mentioned before, you know, humans have a natural tendency to let go of negative uh, thoughts and memories and fixate or even amplify the positive ones. So, you know, unlike right after the breakup, when your ex had all the negative aspects of your relationship on their mind, uh, and being apart, you know, seemed to them like the right choice, at this point, your, your ex will have a harder time remembering all the things that, that led them to deciding to end the relationship in the first place, and they're gonna be a lot more likely to have begun focusing on some of the more positive aspects that make them miss you and wanna get back together with you. And finally, you know, because this new rebound person isn't likely as compatible with your ex as, as you were, it also gives them someone to compare to you uh, or to compare you against. And most of the time, that's, that's only gonna further crank up the feelings of doubt and, and the feelings of regret in the back of your ex's mind because you know, now they've just had a, a fresh reminder of how special and rare the connection was that the two of you shared. Leave me to say no more, huh, baby? So you know, what, what is the verdict on what your ex is thinking if they're still in a rebound relationship right now? Well, honestly, you know, they're likely distracted by this new person and they'll, they'll be thinking about you sometimes uh, but not as often as you probably think of them right now. But on the other hand, you know, if this rebound has already ended, then your ex is gonna be often in an even worse state of emotional health than you were in the immediate aftermath of the, the initial breakup. And I can honestly guarantee you that you'll be on their mind constantly if that is the case. Now, uh, for a little bit of bad news regarding rebound relationships, not all relationships that begin soon after you break up are a rebound. You know, most of them are, but sometimes they, they become more serious. And, and perhaps more importantly, uh, sometimes they begin before the actual breakup even happens. You're in denial when you say no. Now, it doesn't have to be, you know, an official relationship or involve any kind of, you know, physical cheating initially. Uh, it could just simply mean that your ex was, you know, working closely with someone of the opposite gender on a big project at work, you know, in, a f in the weeks before you broke up. And, you know, as they became closer and closer to this new person and started to imagine themselves as a couple and what that would be like, uh, that's typically when, when the seeds of the breakup are planted. Having someone to, to run off to and quash the post-breakup heartache is also something that, that can often you know, give confidence to anybody who's been wondering or thinking about for some time whether the relationship they're in has a real future. And when you add in you know, an intriguing new person of the opposite sex uh, to the existing doubts that are already going through their mind, that's often enough for someone to, to get the courage 
to finally break up and, and run off with this new person that they've already slowly been falling for. Now, of course, you know, this is probably the most painful and difficult breakup situation you could face, uh, quite frankly. And if you are on the, the receiving end of this sort of scenario where your ex has essentially dumped you for someone else, especially if you've seen signs of this happening you know, long before the breakup and you were aware of the new person in your ex's life also long before breaking up. So you know, if you are in this boat, I really am sorry and I do empathize with what you're going through right now. Now sadly, this is one of the only two factors, aside from the two that I mentioned earlier, uh, that will likely mean that your ex is not thinking about you as much as you're thinking about them. You know, having a new relationship to, to walk right into immediately after breaking up, especially if it's, if it's pre-planned and your ex has been you know, slowly drifting into the new person's arms even while you were still together, uh, is an effective way to avoid the, the worst of the heartache and typically, that typically affects everybody after breaking. Last four nights, your feelings have been hurt. Now, of course, that is not to say you know, that they're never thinking of you at all anymore. So don't assume that, that you've magically you know, just suddenly disappeared from your ex's thoughts you know, all of a sudden one day. It really just means that, that you likely had or, or have a longer and more difficult uh, recovery to, to get over them. You know, and also in this, this type of situation, they'll, they'll usually not really think about you much in the immediate days or weeks after breaking up. Uh, but the peak of their feelings of, of missing you and thinking about you will likely come actually after they've settled down and, and become comfortable in the new relationship, you know, once it becomes less exciting and a little bit more routine. But even then, you, know, you can still expect to pop up in their mind uh, from time to time, but unfortunately, probably not as often as you might hope. Finally, folks, uh, there's a couple of times where you can be absolutely certain that your ex is thinking about you and missing you like crazy. Now the first uh, is during the period where your ex is in a phase that I call rock bottom. Now, you know, depending on how serious your relationship was, this is usually between two and four weeks after the initial breakup. And at this point, your ex, or, or the person who initiated the breakup, no longer really has any feelings of excitement about the prospects of being single and the freedom that, that comes with that. And they're also, you know, less likely, uh, or they're likely less convinced, I should say, that they made the right decision in breaking up. So the reality at this point has sunken in. Uh, they felt enough heartache, you know, already to be sort of starting to second guess their choice to end things. I want you to really remember. And you know, their friends and family by this point are, are no longer around 24 seven to keep their mind off the breakup. You know, it's a toxic uh, mix of, of things that results in the rock bottom phase. And if your ex is in this phase right now, then you can be damn sure that they're wishing you were around and that they're thinking about you constantly. The second situation uh, where your ex is almost guaranteed to be thinking about you is when they're, they're out and about living life and then they see or hear something that, that reminds them of you. You know, usually it's something really specific, like um, catching a whiff of someone wearing the, the same cologne you used to wear or, or um, seeing a TV ad for the resort you visited together on your, your first anniversary as a couple. Uh, or, you know, the most cliche is probably, you know, when your, your song comes on the radio. You know, I imagine most of you watching this right now, you know exactly what the type of situation that I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the daddy. Uh, you know, where you, where you think things are fine and you've been feeling better, and then bam, you know, right out of the blue, you just suddenly see or hear something that you can't possibly help but associate with your ex. And there's absolutely no question that your ex is gonna experience this exact same type of thing as well. And in fact, you know, if you're both separately listening to the, to the same radio station at the same time and your song starts playing, I don't think you need a crystal ball to, to know for sure that at that point your ex is gonna be thinking of you just like you're thinking of them. Now, believe it or not, this kind of nostalgic memory is actually an extremely powerful tool that can help you win back your ex. If you want him to believe that it's over, then you gotta stop accepting the booty calls at 2 a.m. in the morning, do you understand? If that is something you're hoping for. And in fact, the X Factor Guide is based around my 3R system, which is a three-step process for getting a second chance with your ex. And the, the second of those three R's, uh, which stands for rekindling, is really all about maximizing the impact of your ex's emotions and the nostalgia, and then taking advantage of those feelings to, to make them come crawling back to you. And please visit breakupbrad.com and watch the full free tutorial video there on my website right now uh, because you'll learn a lot more about how to use my 3R system and a number of other uh, proven psychological techniques that you can be using to change how your ex feels about you and get a chance to start over with them. Again, breakupbrad.com is where you can find that video and start the process of winning back your ex. And that is all for today, folks. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this psychic mind reading session and found it helpful to learn what was going on inside your ex's mind. If you have a quick question, uh, if you need me to, to predict your future, or if you, you know, just really wanna share your thoughts on, on Miss Cleo and reminisce about her late night TV infomercials, just uh, drop them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing to my channel, and thanks for hitting that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video.